Hi Leo! My gay gang fire sign Leo up! <laughs> What's good? It's been a couple days. I've been posting readings for everybody. So I'm sorry you guys. But today... Oh! Oh, bitch, today? Yeah! Y'all gonna get a reading and y'all getting a bonus reading just because I took so long. You know what I'm saying? Because Leos don't like to wait. You know what I'm saying? So, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate all of you likes, shares, subscribes, all your everything, everything, donations, readings, everything you do, everything. Um, thank you so very much. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. Okay, my name is Brooklyn. That's 1111. If you have not yet, make sure you like, share. And subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on so you won't miss out on any of the reads that I upload for you guys. I just got on camera amped. I wasn't even amped a few minutes ago. It's this high vibrational as Leo energy that's just flowing through. And I'm just giving it to y'all. Take that. Take that. Take all of that. Take that energy. All right? Take that high vibrational energy, you guys. Now, let's get into this romance oracle and see what's going on in love for Leo. And then we're going to jump into the spread. We're going we're gonna to get into the energy of the person that's on your mind right now, okay? So that's the theme for today. Let's go. Leo. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so you may have separated from somebody already. Your partner may be traveling for business. So you're feeling some sort of aloneness. You're feeling alone. Okay? Or this is just a separation between you and your person. You, you and your person is not together right now. <clears throat> this person could be addicted to you codependency at the bottom of the deck they're addicted to you they're very codependent on you okay for some reason whether it's financially emotionally okay or sexually they're addicted to you leo all right we're gonna get into this chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so you have a strong magnetic attraction and um a magnetic pull you might as well say to somebody other than the person that you were dealing with. So for some of y'all, y'all dealing with somebody new. But it's like y'all are in separation. Y'all either geographically on the other side of the world from each other. Or it's just some distance. I feel like y'all not in the same area together. Or y'all not around each other at this moment. But there's a lot of chemistry and attraction. There's a lot of attraction. I feel like you're attracting this person towards you, Leo. One more. Yeah, it, spirit is not playing. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. <clears throat> I'm seeing that basically, hmm, you, you, it's like you let someone go. And you're forgiving for past transgressions. Or whatever mistakes that was made, you're forgiving yourself and you're learning lessons and healing. And I feel that you're healing those experiences you went through with this person. And it's going to bring more love into your present moments. Look what, what's at the bottom. This is you, Leo. This is you. Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. You could be dealing with another Leo. All right. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. What's up, gang gang? Y'all already know I'm a Leo sun, so we all gangs, okay? Our ruling planet is the sun and never go on retrograde, baby. How about it? How about it? Okay, now nah, let me stop. Let's get into the spread. I'm so amped, okay? This energy just came out of nowhere. You guys, what's going on? You're showing up defensive. You're not budging. You're standing your ground. You said what you meant, and you meant what the hell that you said, okay? And I feel like you're pushing somebody away. You're telling somebody no. You're shunning somebody off. Maybe this person, you know, you just don't like them anymore. You know, whoever you were dealing with, maybe you're not attracted to them anymore. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person may have been pushing you away. In the past, okay? This person, in the past, they pushed you away, you know? Because they was getting attention from other people. They're an attention whore, attention seeker, right? Yeah. They had a lot of options, Leo. In the past, this person kept their options open, right? And I feel like, you know, they wanted a brand new beginning here. They wanted something new. Even being with you, they wanted something new. Look what's in there. This is not supposed to be in reverse. 
This man is somebody that likes attention from a lot of people. Somebody that don't have no integrity. They have a lack of leadership. They have a lack of um of passion. There's no passion between you and this person at all. And this person, they're very um they like to sleep around with other people, right? They, they it's like sex. It's like they 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 look for sex. But I feel like, Leo, you are very pissed off and angry about this situation. We're going to turn this upright, okay? We're going to get into the spread. But whoever it is that you're not budging against, I feel like because you're standing your ground, Leo, you're going to have success. You're going to have success and victory moving forward. You could be in a public eye, public figure. You could have some sort of a platform here. And I do see a lot of options coming towards you and work, love. Somebody's coming towards you, though. A fellow, Air, a fellow, a fire sign, a Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person fantasizes about you. They daydream about you. They watch you. They look at your pictures. Yeah, they want some sort of a new beginning here with you. They watching you. I told you, this. whoever this person is, Aries, Leo, Sag, they watching you, okay? Okay? They see you moving forward victoriously and successfully. They daydreaming about you and fantasizing about you. It's like wishful thinking having this brand new beginning here with you. They have a lot of passion for you. All right. They watching you. And they want you. Whoever this fire sign is. Right. It could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. But I see a lot of healing going on in your energy right now, Leo. And balance. Spirit is asking you to remain balanced and make sure whatever decision you make is a careful blending of the head and the heart, okay? Remain balanced. And I see you being patient. You're being very patient, okay? You are pissed off with somebody that was testing your patience. Somebody from your past was testing your motherfucking patience. And I feel like some of y'all put this person out the house. You broke up with this person. This person feels left out in the cold by you. They feel neglected and abandoned by you. But guess what? You're healing from that because that's how they made you feel in the past, Leo. That's how they made you feel left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. You know what I'm saying? This person is healing from some sort of an illness or some sort of sickness or a disease that they got here, Leo. I don't know what disease they got. We're going to go into that. I ain't saying they got no STD, okay? I've been hearing around a lot. Somebody got an STD, you know what I'm saying? But this is not an STD, okay? Uh, thank God, you know. Um, hmm. Yeah, but this person, they feel like, you know, it's like you had to leave them out in the cold and break up with them. Because this person here was playing mind games with you. They were playing on your emotions. They were playing on your feelings. They were playing mind games. You know, there's a lot of competition in here. They were putting you in a lot of conflict. You know, you two have a lot of arguments or heated discussions over this situation here. Right? Because this person, they might be trying to come back out of ego. Okay? Yeah, because they don't want to lose. They want to win at all costs here. Right? This person could have been using you. Taking advantage of you, using you for money, using you for a place to stay, using you for something. They was taking advantage of you. They was playing mind games with you. They was playing games. All right? Yeah, this is somebody from your past. They were playing mind games with you in the past. You know what I'm saying? And now this person wants forgiveness. They want to come back. They feel like you are so mate. They want to return to your life. They want to return. Okay? This person is trying to come back or they already have for some of you. You know what I'm saying? They are addicted to you. What I was just saying about that codependent car. They are addicted to you. They are obsessed with you. They can't get enough of you. They have some sort of a sex addiction or some sort of a um, drinking, smoking habit, toxic energy. This person is coming in low vibrational. Okay? Low vibe. We can't be around that. Hell no, Leo. We can't be around no low vibrational energy. Because you know why? Because our ruling planet is the sun. That's high vibe. That's high vibe energy. That's happiness, peace, joy, harmony. When you look at the fire, what do you feel? When you look at fire, what do you feel? You feel some sort of a peace, a calm, right? Warmth. That's how it feels, Okay. They want that energy. They want to be around that. But it's toxic. They low vibe, right? 
They want to make plans to meet up with you, to partner up with you. They want you to cooperate with them. They want some sort of teamwork with you. You know what I'm saying? They want to work together as a team. They want to. Okay? You could be dealing with a air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Leo, Aries, anybody, everybody's here. It doesn't matter the gender. It doesn't matter the sign. Take it what resonates. Flip the script that you see fit. If it doesn't fit, don't make it stick. Okay? Leave it for the next Leo. Shit. Yeah, but a lot of ex a lot of unexpected changes has happened in you guys' relationship. There was a turn of events. And you want this person to change. Or they might be coming in saying that they have changed. Okay? Something is changing here. This may be a karmic that you're dealing with. Any one of the four fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. All the angels are here. Your ancestors, spirit guide, angels, um, ascending masters. Everybody is here to um, guide you, to assist you. But there may be a snake right there trying to trying to get on your wheel trying to ride the wave okay there may be a snake in the uh in the mist somewhere okay but i see the tables is turning honey bunny what goes around come back around again okay and this person they know the tables is turning okay this person is receiving some sort of a karma i feel like you getting good karma leo your luck and fortune is getting ready to change leo okay yeah, but this person, you know what I'm saying? This is a karmic. They friend zoned you. They kept you in the friend zone and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they were being childish and very immature. But now they want to say, oh, I've changed. Oh, 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 I love you. I still have feelings for you. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be saying these things just to get your attention. I feel like they only want your attention, right? And you're beginning to realize some things here. You know what I'm saying? But they do want success and victory with you moving forward. All right? They want to work together. Right? These are just bonus cards. Take it how it resonates. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. I'm tired. Five of Swords for Leo. Spirit guides. Oh, that's too much. No. One, two, three, four, five. Fives. Five and fives is ending. So this ended already. Yeah, this had ended. Because five cards fell on the table, five of swords. Yeah, ending. Okay, why is the five of swords here? Clarify the five of swords for Leo. Why was this person playing mind games? They motherfucking one-sided. Six of pentacles in reverse. Five of pentacles to the six of pentacles. There may be a heated discussion over a disagreement because somebody do got an STD. Look at this. Five of pentacles to the six of pentacles is an STD. But it's got to be upright. So it's possible. It's possible. It's a slight chance. Some of y'all, like a small percentage of y'all may find out, or your person may be find out they got an STD. It's small, small percentage, okay? Because it's not upright, but it's one-sided. This person was playing mind games with you because they one-sided. Hello? They wanted you to be in a one-sided relationship with them. Who the fuck does that? What Leo you know do that? For real. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah. They one-sided. They wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. Lie, cheat, be manipulative, sneak around on you, do some shady things behind your back. They could have stole something from you. You know what I'm saying? Stole your time, stole your money. They stole your heart. And they would be, look what they did. Seven of swords. And so since you left them out in the cold, put their ass out or broke up with them or whatever case, they have some sort of, of, they have some sort of poverty mindset or broken mindset or some sort of a uh, uh, scarcity mindset okay that's why they feel left out in the cold they may be having financial issues okay that's why they try to sneak their motherfucking ass back in because they having financial issues all right and they want to have sex but they're trying to strategically sneak back into your life because they want to come out of the cold with you. They want to passion a brand new beginning with you. Yeah, somebody from the... This happened in the past. Or this is somebody from your past that wants forgiveness for this. Look, they might even try to like... Um, they may have done something sneaky in the past that they still haven't told you about. 
All right. That's why they. That's why they out there, or wherever they at. Why is the six of cups here? Thank you. Oh my God, the six of cups to the six of cups. Somebody from the past may have um tried to reconcile with somebody else from their past. Somebody they grew up with from childhood. This is a high school sweetheart, a close friend, or, or, or somebody. Double six of cups. This person, they worship you. They admire you. They want, they want you in their life. They want to give you something. Somebody from your past even could have gave somebody from their past something. I don't know if they gave them flowers, money, or a gift, but they gave this person something. Or they want to give you something. They want to come back. They want forgiveness. They want to give you flowers or give you something. They want forgiveness. They want, they want you to forgive them for whatever they did in the past. Okay? And I feel like they want to... Um, they feel like you're a soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. They have a soulmate connection with you. Okay? Because this person, you know, they had time to think they were alone, do some introspection, um, doing some soul searching. They might have ghosted you to go on a solo search. Okay. They ghosted you. They went ghost. Period. I feel like you were in total hermit mode. Right? Maybe you were cooped up in your room all day. Or this person is in some sort of room all day alone. Not shaving. Not even caring how they look. Because, you know, they have they have to realize things here. And this person is being guided back to you. They want to invest in you. They feel like you're somebody they can invest in. But the tables is turning, possibly. They want things to change between the two of you. But the devil is here in the middle of the spread. So this person is very ab addicted to you. Very obsessed with you. Obsessing over something. Why is the devil here? Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Why is the devil here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December? Happy holidays, you guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I know Christmas ain't here yet. Any messages for Leo? Why is this toxic devil staring at me? This devil is staring at me. Oh, y'all should see how this devil is positioned. The devil was laying down in position, staring at me. His eyes are just on me. I don't give a damn. Why is the devil here? <laughs> Clarify the devil. What the hell is this? Yeah, they watching you. They obsessed with you. They watching you. They spying on you. They spying on your social media. Riding past your home. Riding past your job. Asking mutual friends what's going on with you. This person... You have an age gap between you and this person. So you're older than them or they're older than you or they're much younger than you are. Or you, however, okay? It doesn't matter. I feel like, though, something is toxic. There's heated, uh, premature, immature communication between you two. But this person does want to talk. They want to speak to you, okay? They're obsessing over you. They're watching you. They're trying to figure stuff out. They're trying to figure out some information, get some, uh, do some research up on you, do an investigation on you or something like that, right? And you're pulling back. Oh, this is you? They feel like you're toxic because you're always spying, you know, on their phone or looking through shit, investigating and whatever you be seeing, you be big holding back. Look, big holding back. Big holding back. It's pulling you back. You're holding back. You could be holding back some sort of communication, and you're holding back. Like, you have the strength to hold back. You have a lot of strength and power and courage to hold back. You've been taming your lust. This person has a sex addiction. And they're trying to figure out how to get you to open up. But you're not. you holding back. All right? you taming your lust. It's like, yeah, I want to have... I want to get intimate with you. But it's like, I, I just... I can't. I can't... I don't want to sleep with the devil. Period. Period. Okay? So, yeah... Whew, you're holding back because there was an ending. Now, what did I just say about the ending? Five and five is ending. What is this? Ten. I can't make shit up even if I wanted to, you guys. I smelt the ten of swords or the, either the ten of swords or the uh, death card. I smelt it. I don't usually be smelling shit. <laughs> it's like something you sense. It just give off a, you know what I'm saying? I don't usually be smelling things, but I felt it coming. Yeah. 
You, it's, it was an ending. This person, they betrayed you. You know, they betrayed you. And I feel like you still hold it back. For some reason, it's hard to get over this shit. They've done it over and over and over and over and over again. Just kept putting swords through your back. Like, okay, I'm going to just lay here and let you do this to me. Like, no. Uh-uh. You know, this person is going through a lot of depression, anxiety. They can't eat. They can't sleep. This person is, is going through trauma from their past. This person has a lot of trauma. Their past relationship, whoever they was in a relationship with in the past, has made them extremely toxic. This person that they was in a relationship with in the past was extremely toxic. And I felt like that toxic energy bounced over to them. Or your person in the past, you know, as a child, in their childhood, they grew up around somebody they were in a relationship with that was very toxic. But I feel like it was some trauma in their life. Whatever trauma this... You traumatize. They traumatize you. Through all this betrayal. They broke the trust. They broke the relationship. And now there's an ending. But this is, this is the end of a painful cycle. Okay? And you're going to be happy. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to have peace, joy, and harmony in your house. Around your friends and family. This person betrayed you. It's like they basically told you no. Because the tennis source answers no. Okay? They didn't want to marry you. No marriage. No mas. Okay? Ten and ten. Look, look at this shit. Ten of swords and ten of cups. I mean, come on now. They betrayed you and broke and, and, and betrayed everybody in the family. The kids, too. The kids, too. Some of y'all was married to this person. They didn't just break your trust. They didn't just break your heart and cause you pain and cause you sorrow. They broke the family down. There was some sort of marriage or commitment that was on your mind, Leo, or something. And you wanted this, you felt like this person was your wish fulfillment. But this is the ending to the painful cycle. I mean, not wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment. I'm sorry. This is the ending to a painful cycle. You're about to be celebrating here. Whatever it is that you're going to be celebrating. Okay? You're about to have peace, happiness, and joy in your, in your element here. But they stabbed you in the back. They didn't want to marry you. Ten of swords, ten of cups. Ten of swords is a no. No and a yes. Hmm. The hell going on in here? It's like they betrayed the family. If you were married to this person, they broke your trust. They broke the marriage. They broke the vows of the marriage. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's damaged. But this is the end of the painful cycle. Okay? And you're going to be happy. Leo, you will end up married. Okay? I don't know when, but we're going to find out. And we're going to see. So, yeah, like I said, this person wants to work together with you. How are they feeling? Three of Cups. They want to they want to reconcile with you. They want to come back together and be happy and celebrate and all of that. They see you working, Leo. They see you about to collaborate with people. Or you already are working with people, collaborate with other people on jobs and shit like that. You about to be working with other people behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? You about to get some sort of wish fulfillment and they want to come in. They want to reconcile with you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you put this... They might even put you on a pedestal. Right? They might even put you on a pedestal. But I feel like at the same time, this person may be selfish or stubborn. Feeling smug, like self-centered or... You know what I'm saying? Um, Self-pleasuring. Only to... Only... with Only just... They, they want to reconcile to get what they want out of the situation. They're looking out for themselves. You know, they're self-pleasuring. They only care about them, themselves. That's about it. And they stuck on you. Hangman energy. Could be dealing with a Pisces. They stuck on you. They stuck. They feel stuck. Okay, stagnant. They're not taking no action towards you. They're not moving, really. Or there's no changes happening with this person. Like, this person isn't changing. And you're unhappy. You're letting this go. Yeah, hang the uh, three of wands. Yeah, 
They want to speak to you. They want to travel towards you. You know, they, they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for what they set their attention down on to manifest. But I feel like you're not paying this person no mind because the truth then came out. Now that you turn your back on them and you don't want to pay them no mind, now they want to tell you the truth and they want to be all honest. Okay, they want to tell you the truth that they have been playing mind games with you. They have been. And they've been playing mind games with you, causing their own selves to go on a damn crisis, or to have a panic attack, or this happened all of a sudden, and it's going to be out the blue. You're not going to be expecting this. This is a tower moment. This may blow up, and somebody, th something about to blow up. This is going to be an argument that's going to blow up, or something about to happen here. You need to get some rest, though. You need to get some rest, okay? Yeah, you need to go on vacation or something, for real. Why is the hangman here? But they feel stuck on you. And you feel like they're not taking any action. Because you're working and collaborating with people. Working behind the scenes to get some sort of um, wish wish fulfillment. You're, you're going to get everything you want, Leo. Your wishes are going to come true here. But I see that you don't feel like you have all the facts. You feel like you don't know everything yet. It's okay not to know everything. You may be feeling stuck, stagnant, or limbo. Or you feel like this person was stringing you along in a relationship. You had them on the pedestal and they were stringing you along. You felt like they didn't love you. You felt like they didn't have no feelings for you at all. Why? And you and you putting that all that love back into yourself. Ace of Cups in reverse is self love. Okay. And you pour all of that back into yourself. Because you know what I'm saying? You you feel like this person strung you along. They did I'm sorry, Leo. We're gonna continue this now. So like I said, you pour all that love into yourself, right? And you're protecting your energy. You are very guarded. Because this person hurts you a lot. And you're not really trusting. Matter of fact, you're not trusting at all with this person. You're really protecting your heart space. You're protecting your energy. You're making this person paranoid. Because they see you not opening up to them. You're not, ex you're not opening up to them like you used to. You're not letting them in. You're holding back. Okay? And you're, you're guarding your heart. You're guarding your energy. You're protecting your energy from this person because you feel like they're not going to change. You feel like they're still going to be resistant to some sort of a change. You feel like they're not. They're going to hold back, okay? But Leo, you may still be holding on to some past issues here that you have with this person. And you need to release that. You need to release that, okay? Release that now. Even though, yeah, they broke your heart. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're not opening up or, or you holding on to some broken hearted. Whatever past issues is here that you're holding on to, Leo, you're still broken hearted over this. It's like, well, did you have a conversation with me about the changes that you was going to make? Did you tell me how, how this happened? Or how you're going to make changes? How you're not going to break my heart again? You're still broken hearted because they haven't told you shit that you wanted to hear. Nothing. They've been beating around the bush, trying to sneak back into your life and avoiding the truth. You know what I'm saying? But now they're going to have to reach out. They want to reach out. They want to, even though they know you're heartbroken, they want to reach out. They want to speak to you. They want to make you some sort of an offer. They may be calling you or sending you a message telling you that they want to work on a relationship or have a new start. They want to say, I'm sorry. And even though you're heartbroken, Leo, I do see you manifesting financial opportunities. You're getting an offer. This may be a large lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a bonus, a promotion, a new home, a new car. But this person is still showing up as a page. I don't see no kings, no emperor. Like, this is still an immature-ass person. And you feel like they may still play games and keep you one-sided. Okay. You may have been showing up in a defense towards the Sagittarius. They felt left out in the cold. Okay. There was some conflict here. But I feel like they don't want to breadcrumb you. They don't want to breadcrumb you at all. But somebody from their past is very toxic. They spying. 
they they spying. Could be on this Leo Aries or Sag. They spying on their they're spying, taming their lust. It could be somebody you work with or do business with. They, they, they could be spying and you tame your lust. It could be your work. They want to celebrate with you. They want to come together with you. Um, they feel like, you know, emotionally fulfilled. They feel like, you know, you everything that they want. They want to put you on a pedestal. But there's a delay right now in um, doing that. And I feel like, you know, you loving yourself right now, Leo. You're protecting your energy. You're being very careful about who you let into your heart space. But you're still holding on to past hurt, past pain, okay? And this person want, does want to speak to you. This person from your past, I guess. They, they feel left out in the cold. They want to come out the cold. But somebody else here is watching you. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius. I see major healing. I see this person wants to travel towards you or come towards you. They want forward movement here. All right. Yeah, this person is going to be generous to you, loyal, stable, secure. This may be you, a businesswoman, a, a mother. You may have children, a healer. You, you're going to have success, Leo. You're going to have success Move forward. You're healing because you may have felt that, oh, you may have some sort of a, you got to change your mindset. Like, oh, I'm not going to have no success. I'm going to be left out in the cold. What about me? What about what about my financial needs? What about, what about you know, if you have a job, you know, you feel left out from that. You know, what about, what about me? Everybody's getting success except for me. You know, it's a whole bunch of competition. It feels one-sided. But no, that's not, it, it may feel like that, Leo, but that's not true. That's not true. Okay? That is not true. And you may be obsessing over something. You may be obsessively like getting new information, doing research, reading. You know what I'm saying? You love to read and do research, Leo. Because you have a lot of, um, you have a very strong mindset. But you got you to gotta fix that, um, that lack mentality that you have. But I, you're very powerful. You have a lot of strength. Us Leos have so much strength and power. I'm telling y'all. We are more stronger than we would like to believe. And that's why people love working with us. That's why people love when we come around. They get real happy. They put us on a pedestal. But you feel stuck. You're going to get everything you want, Leo. You're going to get what you wish for. You're going to be working with people at your work. You're going to be happy. Three of Cups. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be working with others behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be put on a pedestal. You're going to get some sort of recognition, Leo. But right now, you feel stuck. So you just pour all this love into yourself. Which is what you're supposed to do. And protect your damn energy. But you're so guarded that you're holding on to past issues. And like, you're guarding, you're protecting this money. Whatever this four pinnacles is that you're about to come into, you're saving for a big home, or a big purchase, a retirement, um, a car, but you're really keeping to yourself. Be careful with some sort of an isolation or isolating yourself from people, Leo, because I see that. But you're in a stable position as far as work. And you're heartbroken, Leo. Okay? But you're holding on. You're going to save your money. Be a penny pincher. Be a miser. Don't spend all your money. Alright? Don't spend all your money. But somebody does want to talk. But I see you, like I said, manifesting financial opportunities. You are. You're about to get an offer. Leo. And you felt this lack mentality here. Right? You're about to get some sort of an offer. You're manifesting financial opportunities, but you feel like you left out of work or some type of financial opportunity that you're trying to manifest because you feel like it's not, it's not really moving as fast or 
You feel left out in the cold. But uh, check it out. Whatever you manifest it in. Okay. Um, you may be feeling like the outcast. I ain't gonna lie. But I feel like you're, t you're, you're a natural born leader. You're taking the lead in this situation. And you will have success. You know what you want. You know how you're going to get it. You know how it's going to get you there. You will be very successful at work. You have a lot of passion right here for this work. But I feel like you need to heal. All right? You're healing. And you're moving forward. You are focusing on this pentacle. You focused on you. You doing you, Leo. But you feel like you all up in your head. Because you want this celebration you want this good news. You want to um, manifest this. You're moving away from that sort of energy. All the past hurt, past pain, trials, tribulation. You are throwing yourself into your work, working. You may be self-employed. A lot of you getting a new job. A lot of you doing a trade, a business. This is hard work. Confidence. You will have success, Leo. Because you learn real fast. Like you pay attention to all the detail. Look at you. Looking just as fiery, feisty, and bold as you want to. Just as sexy. And, and you're a go-getter. You go into that bag. You have a lot of passion for that bag. Look, you you even juggling two different jobs for some of y'all. Some of y'all just doing the thing. Yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. But yeah, like as far as this person, you're still broken hearted. And you're still showing up defensive. You're still pissed off about this person. There could have been some rumors or gossip going around about a situation here. All right? Or, you know, this person is going to come towards you in a defense or putting themselves, um, Trying to give their excuse or explanation. Or they put, they're being put in the position to defend themselves. Okay. But I feel like you are going to have success and victory overall. You're going to be moving forward. Okay. You're going to get a lot of recognition. You upset because you're not getting it. But you're going to be getting it. And when you get it, let me tell you. All these offers are going to come in. You're not even going to be able to keep up with it. You're going to be getting so much money. Brand new beginning is going to come in for you. You're going to be able to get a new house, a new car. Uh, uh, um, you know, some of y'all might be getting a new job or another job. But I feel like you're going to be getting mad money, large lump sums of money. This is going to be a new beginning for y'all. But this person, you're still, you, you, this person is coming in to give their excuse or, or defend themselves. They might be saying things to get your attention. Or they want your attention. They want to prove their love to you. They're not budging. They're not backing down. They want to prove their love to you. Prove that they're worthy of your love. Six of wands. And they want to come towards you. They have a lot of passion for you. Okay. They see how much attention you're getting from different options. There's different options here you're getting a lot of attention from. Or there's work options. Love options, all sorts of options coming your way here, okay? And you're going to have this brand new beginning here. Why? Because the opportunity is presenting itself to you. You're taking the lead. You're a natural born leader like we... <laughs> what? You may be having a brand new beginning with the fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person is going to be open. They're going to... They're going to... Um, they're going to be emotionally available. They're going to be loving, caring, giving, and nurturing, okay? This may be you. You may be a mother figure, this is a single mother, or this person is just taking on this Queen of Cups energy. Leo, I feel like you're so intuitive. So intuitive. Highly intuitive. Very, very intuitive. Alright. Somebody may be watching you. It could be your mother. Your mother could be watching you. Whatever, whatever, whatever you're doing here, whatever you're passionate in here, is your mom could be watching. But they're very, they're going to be very passionate about you, Leo. They're going to give you a lot of love, you know, a lot of genuine, um, just openness. 
They watching you. Whoever this fire sign is, either you have cancer in your chart or they do. This could be you, Leo. You could be a Leo or moon, a Leo cancer. I know I have um, cancer and Taurus in my chart. What about you? What about y'all? Because this is a Leo cancer or this person is. An opportunity is presenting itself to you. Your intuition is going to be, yo, your intuition is going to be heightened. It's on point. This person is watching the shit out of you. <laughs> Woo! Whoever that is, they watching the shit out of you, Leo. Any more messages for Leo? Yeah, but I feel like, you know, this past person, they just, oh, oh my God. You didn't see my tears. You were sad, crying, hurt over the pain, the trauma, the, 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 the trauma bond. Fuck that. Y'all had a trauma bond. You know what I'm saying? It's no cups in here. The only cups that's here is the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. No love. This person, you know what I'm saying, you felt stuck. This person may have told you that they weren't in love with you. He was like, okay, cool. You or you may have felt that like you may have felt like this person wasn't in love with you. And so you're protecting your energy. But it's like when all this water spilled out of your cup, you know what I'm saying? They didn't see you cry. They didn't see your tears. They didn't see how hurt you was. They didn't see how much pain you went through. Okay? And now they're not over you. It's just this 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 is a shame. This is a damn shame. They can't get over you. No matter what you do, no matter how hard they try, they just they can't get over you. They feel happy with you, but they insecure. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Security. I need security. It's best for this person just to be damn honest. Because I feel like you validate this person's feelings, but y'all need to validate each other's feelings. This person have not been doing that. And when you do that, keep the conversation going to establish trust because there's broken trust here. Somebody's not feeling secure in their relationship. This could be you, Leo. You're not feeling secure. Even though they happy with you, you not. You're very unhappy in the relationship or with this person, this past person. I know you don't feel the same. You don't feel the same about them anymore. You don't feel the same about how, you know... You wanted something with them. That's changed. And whoever is watching you here, I just, I wanted to say, whoever this is watching you, they are very drawn to you. They're very drawn to your, your energy. They feel you have a strong intuition. They feel like you have a strong sense. Um... Like you have some sort of gifts here. They feel like you're very um, emotionally available. They see you. Uh, you could be a mother, a single parent. They watching you. They're drawn to you. They're drawn to your to your. Um, I feel like both of you are going to be drawn to that emotional side of each other. Like, you're going to be able to open up to each other with ease, without a problem. But this person knows you don't feel the same way about them. They're not over you, but you don't feel the same way about them because they broke your heart. They did things, you know, when, when I showed you the Seven of Swords, they did things to prove to you, hey, I'm not trustworthy. And so you don't trust this person. Okay? Like I said, okay? They've done something in the past where they were not trustworthy. They broke your heart, okay? And now they want to act like they don't know why this happened. They know why this shit happened. They may even try to blame you for what has happened. Leo, I'm sorry I held y'all up. Y'all, I know y'all got to go. Y'all got shit to do. I got shit to do. We all do. Who don't, right? Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on my Leo gang gang. If you want to book a personal reading with me anytime, 
I'm always open. My line is open. Only temporary because I got so many readings coming in. I'm about to close it. I'm about to just close it for a few days and then open back up. So hurry in, you guys. If y'all want y'all reading, make sure you guys go into the description box down below. My link is the first link. You're going to see down there to my email. It's going to take you straight to me. Let me know if you want a personal reading. Everything is down there. The pricing and everything is down there. All right. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. And if nobody has told you they love you today, Leo Gay Gay. I'm telling y'all, I love y'all so much. Have vibrational energy all day, every day. Sending it to my Leos. If nobody has told you they love you, I love y'all. I love y'all with all my heart. Until next time, bye Leo. Oh, see you in the next reading, baby.